So uh, what we have here is we have this first question. Right? It says here, this is number one. It says, which teacher exhibited the most variable year-to-year -year performance over this five-year span? And again, um, I think something, um, some, like, I don't know, I can't see the graph in per se in this graph, uh, per se in this question. But when we talk about variability and year-to-year -year performance, so I'm going to assume that the graph looked something like this. So it's going to have an X and Y axis. So I'm going to draw that out for you. So it has some X axis and some Y axis. And it says, which teacher exhibited the most year to year performance? So when we talk about year to year performance, it means that our Y axis here is performance, right? So I'm gonna say P for performance, and X here would be in terms of time, right? As you can see in my solution here, uh, this student coming from the University of Waterloo, um, there's, there's years here, right? So I'm assuming that my independent variable is time, and it's in years, right? So that's gonna be my, my two axes, axes here. And then what, what, what they did was they graphed out something, right? There was some term of, um, some sort of graph that did that described each teacher, right? So there was Jill, Ed, Ralph, Tina, and Sam. So there's five different functions or graphs that are in this in this axis, right? So let's say, um, I'm not gonna draw it up because I don't know what the graph actually says, but I'm gonna say that there are five functions. So I'm gonna say that there's uh, Jill's function. So there's Jill, there's Ed, there's Ralph, uh, Tina, and Sam. So there are five different functions, and what they what what it is is, um, and I'm going to show you an example. What what this means is that this, it's to describe their specific variability. So actually, let me erase these names, and I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe I'll write these names over here. So this would describe so Jill, Ed, Ralph, Tina, and Sam. And what it is, is for example, what if I, like, I, I don't have the graph here, but if I drew, for example, like a straight horizontal line representing my function, what would this mean? So again, take a, take a few minutes um, or take a minute. Um, if you're in the, in the chat, let me know um, what you think about this answer. If I drew a horizontal line for, um, in this type of graph, what would that mean for the teacher? For example, this is person A, what would that mean? So take a minute to talk, uh, think about that, and then we'll reconvene and uh, I'll, we'll, we'll answer this question here. So we only have a horizontal line in for person A here, a horizontal line. What would that mean in terms of our function? A lot of you might default and say, oh, this is zero slope. Um, it doesn't really say anything, but um, I, I encourage you to extend your thinking um, besides that. Remember, we're talking in terms of time and years and talking about performance, right? This is, this is our performance in our y-axis. And this is from 05 to 09. So let me say this, this, this can be 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, and 2009, something like that, something like that. So if I'm if so if I had this um, looking function here, it means that my performance stayed the same throughout the years, right? So this would mean that performance was constant, so constant, constant throughout, I'll just say constant, uh, constant in terms of no change, there's no ch no change in performance here. Okay, sweet, so no, if there's no, no change, then what if I had something like this, what if I had something like, um, like that, my red graph here, what would that mean? So if the A in this, let's say this is person B, right? So again, if A had, it was constant, there's no change. This B here, if you look at, if you analyze this line here, there is some sort of a slope, right? And there's some sort of slope. Again, you can relate it back to rise over run. You can relate it back to, oh, there's a change in something, right? And as you can see, it's increasing, right? There's a change in performance, right? So I can say here that this, this person B is, constantly constantly improving right there's a change in performance or i can say a linear increase in performance would be in the red 
and as and what if I had something that let me let me let me graph this black line here. What if I had something like this? What if it started off like um, what if it started here and what if it did like a little little dip here and then he would maybe come back to normal. What would that mean? And again, this here again, I could do uh, uh, in terms of I could do a rise over run, but as you can see, you see a curve in this graph, and a curve in this graph doesn't mean means that. There isn't a, a linear, it's not linear in this case. In this case, is there some type of function or some type of, um, uh, there's difference in slope every single point in my performance. So 05 has a different slope than 06, 07, 08, and 09. Whereas for my red graph here, there it was the same linear increase, which means this one here would mean it would be, uh, it would have, uh, it would be uh, the most variable. Or what when we say most variable, we mean that the most changes in performance. So most variable slash uh, most change here. So when we talk about which teacher exhibited the most vari variable year-to-year -year performance over this period, over this five-year span, we're looking specifically at this black chart here. Why don't we let the um, we're looking at this black function here, not the red function, not the blue one here, but this black function here. It says it's most variable and the most change, right? So as you could s tell from the answers here, I'm not, I'm going to, I'm going to assume that this, uh, this is correct here because I can't see the graph, but as you can see, Jill's performance was the same through 2000 and 2007 and her gra performance gradually increased. So maybe it would have been something like 05 to 07 would have been like, oh, it was caught. It was, uh, let me draw, let me draw another graph here for uh, this one would be for Jill. So. I would have something like if it was constant from 05 to 07, be constant, and then it would gradually increase, right? So maybe like a gradual increase or something like that. And this would have been uh, 2005, and this is 2007. This here's my performance, this here's in years, and this would have been for, for, for Jill, right? This would be like Jill. So that's what that, that's what that, that, that would have, that would be something like that. And we're talking about Ed here. Ed's performance was never constant and it always varied in time. So never constant means that it's most variable or there's most change. So as you can see from this curve here, it's never constant, right? That I'm going from here and the difference between 05 and 06 was different. 05 to 06 or 06 to 07 was a huge dip. 07 to 08 was an increase and then it flattened off, right? So again, this most variable is most change here. So the answer here was is actually Ed. Um, but we'll look at the other options here. Ralph's performance was constant in 06 and 07 and 08 and 09. So when we're talking about constant performance, it's again this line, right? I just have this line here. It's horizontal line indicating that it's a constant performance. Tina's performance was also constant. Sam's performance was also constant. So again, it's these horizontal lines here, right? Horizontal lines for for uh, for those for those uh I guess teachers in this in, the, in this case. So that's, so that's kind of our solution here. Um, I'm going to verify the solution. And say a uh, great solution. Um, I can't great solution, but I couldn't see the graph. But I couldn't see the graph to to verify if uh, if graph stated that Ed Ed had the most variability. So I'm going to say that. So. That's going to be my solution here. I'm going to say that the solution is correct here. So again, we're talking about functions. We're talking about variability and constant in terms of slope and constant in terms of, and variability in terms of change in slope. So that's kind of our concept here. So my solution is correct.